Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to discuss what should a 10th grade math student know. Now, we're going to use a Florida perspective on things, but this could have very well applied to your particular region. And uh, oftentimes in 10th grade here, the, the students take geometry, and whether it be formal or informal. But what that entails is obviously a lot of different knowledge and concepts about geometry. Now, some of the things that come to mind are perimeter, area, but also some other things to take into account. There's quite a bit of trigonometry here. So we're talking about sines, cosines, tangents, etc. But there's a lot of work with various shapes such as circles, triangles, etc. So there's a lot of you know geometry work because a lot of you know geometric shapes and a lot of formulas that are going to be used and they'll be look, working with quite a few angles as a result and the formulas associated with that. Now, there's a couple of other things to kind of consider in that informal geometry is a little bit different than formal geometry because in formal geometry, there's often proofs that are involved, proving things that are congruent, using the different postulates. There might be a little bit of that in informal geometry, maybe not as intense. But the important thing to consider in addition to the geometry and the trigonometry concepts is definitely stay on top of your Algebra 1 skills because after 10th grade, a lot of students end up taking Algebra 2. Some liberal arts math, but there's quite a bit of algebra involved there as well. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's a brief summary as to what should a 10th grade math student know.